You know, if you saw last video, you know what happened to uh, our two bikes. Um, R.I.P. Spicy and R.I.P. Black Duck. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, long story short, if you haven't watched the last video, we combined both bikes into one, and now we have Black Pepper. This is essentially just the Black Duck's chassis with my motor. And a couple other things from my bike swapped onto here. And I'm still not done. I still have to do a lot more stuff. But um, for the most part, it's almost complete. There's a, still a lot more things I need to tweak on this bike. Like right now, this is full lock brakes. This, this right here is full lock brakes. And it's, you know, not really anything. So I need to, you know, get that fixed. But uh, this is the reveal video, as you guys saw earlier. Um, this is the, the reveal video of the uh, black pepper um, tell me what you guys think about her um, in reality she sounds and feels a lot like how the black duck felt just with a little bit more kick uh, down low than the black duck did and I feel like it has a lot more torque than uh, the black duck did with the uh, other motor right and that's only right because this thing has uh, a couple of things done to it which we will mention in a little bit so stay tuned for that but as you can see, we got the straight pipe on it, or not the straight pipe, but we got the stock, uh, the stock muffler with uh, the cap taken off of it. I got, got I didn't want to keep my, uh, what's it called, my uh, expansion chamber on it, because I thought it was very restrictive. It didn't sound good in my opinion, and it just, I don't know, I thought it was doing a lot more harm than, than good, you know? So, that's why I took it off. And now we are left with this thing. So we're gonna find a cool spot here to chill. I'm gonna show you guys the bike, do a little walk around on it, even though, you know, the montage did show a good bit of it, but that way you guys have a good look at it. Now, as y'all can tell, if y'all heard, this thing is four stroking like a motherfucker. Now, I have an explanation for that. Um, this, but this is not my first time riding this bike, obviously. Um, the reason why is because, well, I can't contain myself at all. And I've ridden this bike a couple of different times, you know, here and there, ever since um, the events of last video and now. And in fact, I've broken some stuff already. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second, here the, the gas tank, what happened to it, um, once we find a spot. But long story short, I, I already laid the bike down, okay? You, you guys will see what I mean in a, in a second. But, uh, so anyway, back into the topic on why is this bike uh, four-stroking. This bike is four-stroking because I've been riding it around and there was a time where I ran out of gas, right, at a friend's house. And I really needed gas to get home, obviously. And I told Eddie, yo, Eddie, bring the, uh, what about it? If you guys don't know. Bring the, uh, the gas and the oil and I'll go and, uh, I'll go mix it up and whatever. And, uh, I was in a heavy-ass rush and I just threw in, like, I don't even know how much ounces of oil on into the gas mixture room and the gas was already under like it's a uh, it's like two gallon mark and i just forgot all about that bro and i just went and dump oil in that bitch 
dropped it and I always dumped a little bit extra than I what I thought it would be to be sure and now uh, you know blow the motor and well I think I dumped a little bit too much because if we do a pull right here that's a stop son see that's full lock and I'm using my my boot right now that's why I wore my boot today because this, this boot is basically the second brake so isn't that great huh It didn't four stroke that time, but usually it four strokes like a motherfucker. So don't don't let that right there just deceive you. Usually this thing four strokes like a motherfucker. But that time it didn't. Where even am I? I think I'm in just I think I'm in some church right now. Let me let me get out of here. Yo, so yeah, this motor four strokes quite a bit sometimes especially when you're like full throttle it, it four strokes a lot so that's my fault it doesn't four stroke off of like it's a normal tune it's just that I really I put, I put a really bad mixture in it and I know I can file a plug and I can do all this stuff but I, I'm already gonna buy a new plug anyway and this plug already has like a, a year and something months old so I'm gonna replace it anyway so don't worry about it um it's fine Anywho, yeah, that's why this bike is four stroking occasionally. Uh, another thing, once I find the actual spot I wanted to go to, let's go Parker over here. Well, let me know what you guys think about the pipe. I, I'm really loving this pipe. This is what woke this bike, this motor up in my opinion. This, this motor, ever since I put this pipe on this motor, bro, and I ran it with this uh, 36.2 sprocket, I've had a blast, uh, as you can tell. I have literally ran through the setup of uh, brake pads I had on it. Because when I first built it, and like after from last video, it had good brake pads and it was braking really good. It's just I fucked it up really bad, you know. So yeah, but here she is, guys. Look at all that smoke. Jesus Christ. And she doesn't have neutral either because uh. Well, I fucked the clutch up so bad that when you put it in quote quote neutral right here, even this being that much out, it already, it's already grabbing. It's already, you know, trying to get you off your feet. Um, but here she is, guys. This is the bike. This is Black Pepper. Um, for the new guys, and I know that some of you just always, always say, well, what the fuck is this dude talking about? You're literally about to click off this video because you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, this is Black Pepper, right? A couple things I've done to her. Uh, mostly motor work obviously this chassis you know I just got this from my brother so I don't really know much about it apart from what I've, I've done with it personally and I don't know what he's done M motor work I have a high compression head on it I have this pipe with the cap off of it so stock pipe remove the cap I have this insanely large uh, carburetor system I have this I have a set of reeds on it um, and a carburetor system link in the description if you guys want to uh, cop that. I will tell you guys my opinion on this uh, reed and carburetor setup in a second after I'm done um, with uh, explaining this bike in general. Um, what else I've done? Uh, I've done to it. Um, apart from that, that's really all. Oh, and a window piston. Obviously, you got to run a window piston. I did have a different cylinder. If you guys notice, when I did originally did this on the old bike, spicy. The cylinder was gray. The cylinder right here was gray, not black. I will explain real quick. There's not really much explanation. I didn't record none of it because I thought it was just a waste of time and I didn't want to bore you guys even more. With this whole bullshittery process going on, right? The basic, basically, the, the, the gray cylinder, it just kaboosh. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't working out too well for me. I didn't like it. It had no power. It, I don't know. It wasn't, it was, I think the ports are just way too small on it compared to this one. So that's what happened with that. And another thing that happened to it was that, uh, what's it called? <sighs> it was caused from this reed valve system, but I didn't realize it until then. 
So I started messing with it a lot, and end of story, I broke a stud in it. So the the block, the, the cylinder was done. It, it didn't work anymore. So luckily, I didn't throw this away. And even this thing, this thing had a little, little, little bit, little bit of um, no, a little hot spot on it um, that I saw. I still put it back on, and so as you can see, it's running just fine. Um, that's what happened with that cylinder. But hey, we're back on the black cylinder. It looks better. It's it still has good compression. We're good. So um, on through onto this reed valve and uh, carburetor setup. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly so that way I don't bore you guys too much. And we can get back to riding, but uh, carburetor and reed, reed valve setup. This carburetor and reed valve cost me eighty dollars, basically, right? And for eighty dollars, is it worth it? Yes, I believe this is worth it if you know how to. If you already have a windowed piston, a windowed piston, or you make your own. Making your own is not even that hard. If you guys want to see how how I made mine. Just go check out this video right here up up uh, top here, and uh, that's the whole installation. Like, if you want to know how to install this, I'll, I'll show you in this in, in this video up here on top. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of like this glue-looking stuff here, right? And you might be wondering what's all that stuff right there, you know? And why is this clamp so fucking long? I'll explain. So this carburetor is a huge carburetor. It's a 24 millimeter, right? OKO. It's not. I don't think it's really OKO, but it's OKO replica, right? And it's on a, and it's, it comes with the, these revolves, right? This revolve. This thing had very a lot of air leaks. It had so much air leaks that it got to the point where you would warm the bike up, and once it gets to operating temperature, you would run it, and it would literally just bog and die. All these screws were loose. This wasn't even like the, the clamp that came with it wasn't even like you couldn't tighten it uh, tight enough to keep it secure. So the carburetor was essentially slowly but surely shifting like sideways as he would ride it, you know, and dude, it was it was a disaster. And the reason why I have all of this, all this orange and all of this crap here is because I went and used uh, what's it called? What do you call that? Oh, uh, it's a it's a gasket. It's a gasket. Yeah, a gasket maker. A maker. I went and got and and made sure that the surfaces were true. So basically, you get sandpaper and you get the. Uh, these, uh, this piece, the black piece, and the reed valve, and you would put it on the sandpaper, and you would scrub it until you put it there, and you would see there's no shift, and so that way they're truly, truly dead center flat. They weren't. They were actually really une uneven. So I did that. After I did that, put it all together, tried it again, did not work. I did it all, all off camera. I just really wanted to put the video out, but you know, never happened. And then my bike cracked. But anywho, all all that stuff happened. All that stuff happened. Fast forward a couple, uh, couple uh, weeks. And I decided, you know what, let me just put gasket maker on this and if this does not work, then I'm literally going on YouTube just to rant about this bullshit. So, luckily, it worked. The surfacing, the gasket maker, along with the copper gasket maker on here, over here, worked. And, voila, we have good, uh, good flowing air, there's no air leaks, and boom, we have a good motor. It literally... It's a motor. It works like a motor. It doesn't. It doesn't do this on its bogging crap. Now I will admit, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna keep it sweet. This motor does bog sometimes. If you'll be, if you'll be like very low RPMs and you just gas it completely, it will bog. Okay, you have to understand. I, I, I understand this now, but I kind of at the beginning, I just like, why is this not working? Come on, this these motors, bro. These motors, especially with the with the with the exhaust setup I have on, bro. Like these motors are just some put together Chinese motors, right? And they don't even come stock with reed valves, so I'm adapting a whole reed valve to it, right? Expecting it not to bog if I just full on, just full throw. Like, I accept it now, but you know, that's just a thing. It, it doesn't bog like anywhere near mid, mid or like um, uh, mid RPM or anything like that. It's just when you just gas it completely, it just bogs. But if you if you roll into it, bro, it'll get it'll get it'll get good power, especially with this 36 two uh, sprocket. Yeah, not 36, uh, four, this is a 40, yeah, this is a 46, especially with this 46, it does really good. So, all in all, I think it's really good. It re even did really good on my 36 tooth. It's just, I don't think it did as good, obviously, because you got to climb up in RPMs like that, but it still did really good for what, what it was, you know? Um, but all in all, I think you should buy this. Uh, it's really cool experience, you know, uh, adapting, making a window piston and adapting this to a, uh, basically a lawnmower weed eater engine you know and it's pretty cool in my opinion um but yeah that's my review on it 
you guys will see me right now use it uh it's made cold start so much easier the carburetor quality is just way better than that little 10 millimeter it's just a lot better parts everything's just a lot better so apart from the air leaks it's a really solid carburetor i like it a lot yes it bogs a little bit uh, when you fully mash it but if you roll into it bro you'll get good high good high end good power like this thing screams so yeah that's my review on it we're gonna go uh, hop on this thing rip it go around with a block have some fun with it and uh here you go guys this is the black pepper the black pepper this is black pepper this right here is black pepper pimienta negra i like to call it sometimes so here she is in all its glory um a little bit of a warm stuff let's see if it does it without choke I would show you this thing, you know, I would show you the thing running on a kick on a, on a kickstand, but I'm scared it's just gonna fall over and die, and I can't put it in neutral anymore. So here you go, guys. Don't worry, I'll get I'll get some shots of it uh, once I fix the clutch problem with just idling by itself. But here you go, yeah, it's all its smoky glory. Let's uh go take it for a rip. Try not to die in this rain, you know? Well, not the, it's not rainy, but you know, with all the wet roads and stuff. Damn, you see that? Oh my God. Okay, there we go. the uh, sidewalk now. Let me put my visor down because a shit ton of bugs are about to hit my face and I already know it. Whoa! <laughs> bro, I'm talking about this thing is so fun, bro. I'm, I'm actually so glad I switched to the uh, uh, 46 to it, bro. I, I missed having that low-end torque. It's accelerating so fast like that, bro. I actually got, I actually got so scared. I thought the cops would be there, cause cops sometimes stay up over there around this uh, little uh, area right here. What's this? A uh, uh, goddamn yeah, church. This is like they like to stay around this church sometimes. And uh, you know, it wouldn't be too too cool if they see me with a helmet on on this little cool cool bicycle. It's not even a bicycle anymore. So, and it's loud as hell. So it's clearly a, a it's clearly a, a motor a motorbike or some shit. Whatever the hell you want to call it. That's a lot of water. 
I see people, see, remember people see me or hear me, bro? They just stare at me and they're like, bro, wheelie, bro, wheelie, do a cow, do a wheelie, bro. I, do, do you not know what the fuck? I mean, like, I don't, not much people know what the fuck these things are, but dude, this thing cannot even reach 50, bro. What the fuck do you think it'll do a wheelie? But you can do shit like this to it. You can't lean this shit really hard. I should have not really be doing this in the fucking wet pavement, bro. Oh shit. Bro, how the hell did that little bit little bit of water go through my visor into my eye? That's incredible. Dude, I don't even want to look at my back by the time I'm done with this. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess it'll just for the best. Oh, I know what to do. See this grass right here? We are about to have some fun. First, let's come over here. I like doing this a lot. Oh, there's water there? Say no more. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fun to do. I always, I always love doing that. All right, now you see the grass right here, right? So we're gonna pretend like we are a uh, dirt bike real quick and uh, have some fun. So shall we? Oh my god. Bro, this is going nowhere. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. What happened, bro? Oh. Guys, oh, I don't feel anything right now, but tomorrow this is gonna hurt. Oh, God, damn, I laid it down again. Oh. Dude, it's gonna hurt tomorrow. Damn, I should have wore pants. Oh, guys, guys, don't do what I do, okay? Don't do what I do. Damn, bro. God damn. <gasps> oh, crap. The carburetor came off. Let's see what else is the damage. Um, I'm more fucking worried about this goddamn bike than my leg. Good thing I didn't fracture my leg, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, that would have been bad. Um... I really want to see on video how did that turn out. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious looking back at it, but for now, this thing hurts like a bitch. God damn it, bro. Put it on my, my leg. <sighs> damn, okay, yeah, it's coming in now. I can definitely feel it now. Ah, oh, guys. God damn it, bro. Wrapping this up like, a, like if it's goddamn losing blood or some shit but it just hurts a lot damn fuck well guys motorized bikes with retro vlogs yes sir hey guys i mean hey my pain is your content oh my god that shit hurts fuck it's like burning now it's like burning like straight up just burning 
I remember the last time I got road rash, or not ready, that's not even road rash, because I don't want grass. I think I just, I think what happened was I fell, and I either just got cut with something around here, yanked, oh, look at this gas right here too. Um, well guys, I think that's, that's going to be a wrap. Oh, look, it's texting me. I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Sorry it ended off like this, but oh, it's a... Hey, Content question mark? I don't even think this is gonna run correctly like this. It's probably not gonna run correctly. I could try, but it's not gonna run correctly. Let's see. It's probably just gonna blow the carburetor right out of this goddamn thing. What's that sound now? I hear a weird sound. I don't like it. <laughs> Guys. Guys, go in the comments below right now and roast the shit on me. I, I need this, bro. I need, to, I need to know how dumb I am, bro. Dude, I literally decided, said, you know what, guys? Let's go around and pretend like we're a dirt bike and go around this goddamn grass and just fucking get the fuck hurt. Dude, my leg is literally on fire right now. <sighs> Hurts so bad. You know what? I mean, at least it runs, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not too secure on that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna walk the bike home, guys. It's it's in pretty bad shape. It's not in bad shape. It's just I'm not really sure. Yeah, look at that. I'm not sure this carburetor is gonna even hold. So I'll just walk the walk the bike home, guys. Um. Well then, guys, that was another episode on retro fails and retro dies again on this bike. Um, comment down below how much of an idiot I am. Tell me how good the bike looks. If it does, if it does look bad to you guys, make sure to tell me. Um, hope you guys appreciate my pain for y'all. <laughs> no, you guys didn't even ask for that. This is all my fault. Anywho, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Good luck to my leg. Peace. See you guys later.